Hey there, it's Celeste again with another video about Centra AI. I did get a question on my YouTube channel. I'm asking if you if I could do a video where the helpers can create designs for merchandise and accessories for print on demand marketplaces. And in a previous video, I was showing the different features, the different functions of the AI helpers and Vizzy had two image create, well, three um, power-ups that deal with image creation. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go through that with you. Um, here goes our outline today. I really wanna jump in and really get at this. Um, if you need to know about Centra, um, I'll tag my first video, my six day honest review um, of the, application and um, you can learn about what it does but basically there are 12 AI helpers that help you do different things in your business so um, the title of today's video is from concept to cash flow how Centric can help um, you make print-on-demand products for your online business and so we're gonna go over generating ideas um, designing it pulling it together and uploading it. And then I'm going to give you some of my pros and cons about this whole process. So let's jump into our first bullet, which is basically um, generating business ideas with comments. So I'm already logged into my Centra dashboard. I've clicked on Comet, who is our e-commerce um, helper employee. Um, and last week, well, let me show you one thing here. On the brain of this app, let's go to the home page. On the brain of this app, basically what happens is you have brains based on your what you want AI to create for you. And it learns about you by asking you questions. And then weekly, every couple of days, pretty much, it act, it gives you some new ideas and it asks you questions to help learn your business. And then the, the, quest, the new ideas are suggestions based on your um, responses to the brain and it learning your business. So um, I talk about that in that first video also, so I won't stay there long. But last week, Comet gave me these ideas to upsell my Faith Vibes line. I'm launching a Faith Vibes line, which has 21-day themed journals um, and devotionals on different topics to help you build your faith. Um and keep your faith strong. So it was like, hey, we have I have some ideas that can you can upsell. And one of them I liked was this scented candle. And it they called it moments of peace. What I love about AI is it gives you ideas and then I can tweak the ideas however I want. I decided to call it moments in prayer instead of moments of peace. So this is how it can give you ideas. This is one way you can get ideas is using the ones they suggest. And two is to basically type in your prompt, give me some ideas for this product, some sayings, like if you're doing t-shirts or um, give me some popular sayings that's dealing with faith. I'm probably going to do that and have some related to the book. And what I'll probably do is take the PDF of the book upload it, have it scan through and pull out some trendy sayings related to what's in the book. That's that's how I normally do it. I give you my content, you pull stuff out of it and give me some ideas. So um, you can do that with Comet. You can ask it ideas. You can upload a file, have it extract ideas from it. Those are my three ways, okay? <laughs> Use what they have. Upload a document, have it extract ideas, or just type a prompt and say, hey, give me ideas for this. And it'll spit some ideas. Well, yeah, I'm saying spit them out, but it will pretty much generate some ideas for you. So now that we have some ideas generated, 
let's see what Vizzy can do to bring these to life. So we're going to go back to our helpers here. We're going to jump down on your main page. You can just scroll down to the helper you want to use. And I'm using Vizzy and we're going to use her power ups today. And we're going to just look at all of our power ups. These are extra tasks she can do. As you can see, there's three here with images. One is image generation. One is removing a background. One is upscaling an image. What I'm going to do is go to image generation and I'm going to show you the images I already generated to, um, for this product that we, um, can use for it. So, um, some of the images are up in here twice, but that's okay. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But I like this image. At first I did this image, but then I wanted an illustration. And so I like that image, but my audience is um, significantly people of color. So I was like, let me just add, um, see what it would come up with for a woman of color. I like this one. I just wasn't sure about this um, bowl of coffee, I guess. Um, but I like this because it actually goes with my Faith Vibes design. Like it looks a little bit like that, my logo. Um, so I could use this one. I want to keep this and use it for something. I like this one, but we had these two. I like this one also, but she had two cups of coffee. I didn't know what's going on with that. This one had two cups of coffee also. So we, I skipped over all of these. I changed my prompt to a woman praying at her desk. So it almost looks like she has her journal there. The book is open and she's praying at work because somebody's getting on her nerves or she's trying to figure out how to do something at work. So I'm going to use her in my product. I like this product. You just tip, basically right click, save image, and it'll download. Or in Canva, you can just copy the image and paste it right into Canva. So we have seen how you can create images in um, Centro using Vizzy. I do want to show you quickly and then we'll be moving on this background remover. Now I did, okay, so it only will do it while you're showing it. So I'm going to, I need to pull this out just a little bit if it will work. Let's see. So it's going to, let's see, did it? Nope. It won't, it didn't save the one I did. So I'm going to take this image and I'm going to generate a background remove just to show you that it works. So if you need to isolate an image for your um, graphic that you're going to use on print on demand, you can. There you go. She's done. You're going to download her and keep her if you want to use her. I'm using the whole image here. I'm not doing um, that. I'm doing the whole image. So with print on demand, you want to make sure that you are, um, you want to make sure that you're using the proper template, proper size. So I am in Printful which is a popular print on demand company that has tons of products. They have shirts, hats, and all this. But since mine was a candle, I'm gonna go ahead and do a candle. Um, so here are the file guidelines. If you go in this app, it'll give you the file guidelines and tell you what your, it needs to be at least 300 dots per inch needs to um, be RGB. It tells you everything you need. So I'm going to take you, which is my next step, is pulling it together in Canva. We're going to jump into Canva. As I told you, I changed it from moments of peace to moments in prayer. I did two designs. Um, Printful will give you a template that you can download. So I 
created a template, downloaded it, and uploaded it into Canva. And you can see the template, it's in the back. I have it all the way in the back so I can see. It has guidelines to show you where your image needs to be. So you can do it that way. Make sure the guidelines are on at the end before you print. Just delete that. So I'm going to delete it. Um, I guess I could have left that one there just for future reference. So I deleted it off of these two. Here goes the picture. I added my logo. I put moments in prayer. And I actually downloaded it, and we're going to upload it into Printful and see how this will come out. So we're going to start in order. And one of the things I like about Printful is it has these um, graphics that once you create your image, it will create like promo images for you. Um, which they call mock-ups to help you sell your products. So I'm going to just do my Printful store here. Um, I'm going to create an order just to be playing around. Um, all right, so I can upload my image. I had already downloaded images from Canva, and I it's right here. I'm going to put it on here. It tells me that my image is um, good quality up here. It says it's 450 dots per inch, which is more than what they asked for. I'm going to click continue. And here goes my product. This is my product. I'll bring it up a little bit so you can see. Um, as you um, comment suggested that I sell this for $9.95, this is how much it costs for Printful to make it. This isn't even the price that the customer would pay. Like I have to change the price in order to make it work. So I um, would probably research some other places, but, you know, the benefit of print on demand is the fact that you don't have to have any inventory. You don't have to stock anything. You, The time you put in is um, creating a graphic, uploading it, and then the company does everything, including ship it out. And so all you have to do is have a credit card on file. It pays for it and ships it out to the person. Your... Um, e-commerce platform collects the money. Alrighty. How much time have we been on here? Oh, that's not bad. Good. We're almost done. So that's how you actually use this to create some print on demand products. Um, as an overview, Comet will help you come up with ideas. Visi will help you create the graphics for your design. You can pull it together in Canva and um, just letting you know that's my area. I train people how to use Canva and how to do some different things in AI. Um, I teach it all day, so um, I'm pretty much a pro at it. Um, how to upload into your favorite print-on-demand marketplace. There's several of them. Etsy is one. Um, Printful is one, Printify, and there's several other companies that you can do print on demand for. I actually have um, a list of them in my course called Making Money with Canva, where I actually made $5,000 in a month using Canva. So I do have a course on that that I'll tag in the comments and in the description. <clears throat> what are the pros and cons? I think the pros here are is the fact that Comet can give you ideas and things you never thought of. I never thought of making candles. Never, ever, ever. So I'm glad that it gave me that and told me why it would be a good match. It also gave me, like, do some bookmarks, which I'm definitely going to do those. And it said to do some wristbands. I thought that was a good idea, too. But I didn't think of those. I'm a graphic designer. I don't think of all of that stuff. 
I think of a nice pretty book and then I'm glad that Comet gave me some new ideas. Um, it's good to see that Vizzy can create images based on prompts. Um, the con is AI image creation is still fairly new. And so you'll occasionally get five, I mean, six fingers or like we had coffee through two and three coffee cups, you know, in a, or a bowl of coffee. But um, I know how to edit those in Photoshop, um, Adobe Fresco, and even how I covered some of that up with, um, I know how to cover some of that up in Canva. And Canva has some features where you could pull pieces of images out. So it's all good. Even though it's a con, it's not a con that cannot be overcome. And then the last thing is, you know, finding your print-on-demand marketplace that works for you. Um, I do feel like Printful, the print-on-demand places are very, very expensive to where I would have to charge $20 for that candle to make it even worth my while. But what I could do is bundle it with a journal and that might... I might be able to sell that bundle for $25 and make a little more off of it. Um, I, what I also wanted to say about this print on demand is my biggest print on demand products are books. Okay. So I upload my books to Amazon and sell them there. I have books for children, teachers, all kinds of books that I've been in and have um, posted on there. So I do use print on demand for books. Um, and I'm glad you asked this question because I am going to probably start creating some more products based on the um, rec the questions of or the suggestions of the AI helpers. And isn't that what employees are supposed to do is bring value to your business and help you upsell? So, um make up sales and increase your revenue and your product line. So I'm excited about this. Um, I'm going to add it to my stuff and see if it sells. The worst that can happen is, um, you know, it's up there. But the best that can happen is as I'm promoting my business and using some of the strategies that the AI helpers are giving me, that um, it will generate revenue for me and increase my bottom line. So I'm Celeste with Art School with Celeste. I'm asking that if my videos help you in any way, please subscribe, like, and comment on the videos. That helps, um, it just helps, period. Um, as it helps me grow. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm a teacher. <laughs> so I'm learning a lot of this stuff as I go. But one thing I know I can do is teach you how to do something. Especially if I know it myself, I could teach you how to do it. So thanks again for joining me on the video. I'm Celeste with Art School with Celeste um, and Conquering Canva with Celeste. And we will talk about our next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.